Hey YouTube, it's your girl Jessica Ann here in Hollywood and I'm here to give you breaking celeb drama and LA local news. Let's get started. Gabby Sidibe plays Becky on Empire and on Wednesday night's episode she was doing a steamy sex scene. Gabby was doing a steamy sex scene on primetime television which is pretty much a first and especially being a black woman of her size, she was with a smaller man, you know, a dark chocolate sexy who wanted her. Really, people were still fat shaming. I mean, I thought we were over that. At this point, Gabby is doing her thing and girl is getting it done. Especially being a plus size black woman on primetime television. This is like a first in television history, okay? And if you're still fat shaming, if you're sitting at home typing on your miserable computer saying that, oh, she shouldn't be up there, ew, gross, blah, blah, blah. You know what? Gabby's getting paid and you're not. We should be supporting our curvy girls and loving them. And you know what? You go get it, Gabby. We love you. I was able to get a sneak peek of Justin's interview on the Ellen DeGeneres show on JustJar.com. And to no surprise, Ellen was able to poke and prod and get Justin to say what three songs on his new album were about Selena. Justin said, what do you mean, sorry, and mark my words. After an intense and funny interview with Ellen, Justin goes on to say that he can't see himself back with Selena, but as of now, he loves her and he wishes her all the best. Did you see the UFO fly over LA? Well, I know I didn't, and I'm sure glad, because after all the documentaries that I've been watching lately, I probably would have peed my pants. I have a problem with the government not telling Los Angeles that a test missile from the Navy was going to fly over our lovely city. Now, I understand that they wanted to keep everything top secret, especially from countries like China and Russia, but at the same time, could we have flown this over the ocean? Could we have flown this over some desolate part of the desert? Why LA? Twitter blew up because people were thought the world was about to end. We already have too much drama as it is in Los Angeles. The last thing we need is a UFO. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you all have a great week and I'll see you Friday.